Yes, okay, we're back, and we win. The Vancouver Canucks beat the Washington Capitals 3-2 to in overtime. And listen, I don't care that the game wasn't pretty. I don't care that we probably didn't really deserve to win that one. We got the job done. And honestly, man, Connor McMichael, we can all just clap for this man right here. Clap for him. Honestly, do it. Clap for him because he is our undercover agent right now. He gave us the win, sold in overtime twice, and Miller absolutely bagged it. We have a lot to get through, so without further ado, let's jump right into the first period to recap what happened in this hockey game. Now, let me start off by saying it's Sunday. It's the morning, but that being said, I will be up to support my boys 10 in the morning, whenever the time is. I'll be up to watch the hockey game. But you know how I hate to start my day? You know how I hate to start my Sunday? It's to listen to the worst goal horn in the National Hockey League. And listen, man, that happened almost immediately into the game as the Canucks render their third goal in a row in the opening two minutes. Ian Cole and Tyler Myers are caught in no man's land, marking absolutely nothing. And Nick Dowd is all by himself in front of the net. He tips it by Thatcher Demko and gives the Caps a 1-0 lead. Honestly, man, we gotta give our hats off to Demko here because what a save this is here on TJ Oshie. Just desperation gets the pad out. TJ Oshie maybe could have done better, but he was falling down. Demko with a ridiculous pad save keeps it 1-0. And man, this turned the tides because right after that, Connor Garland with a goal here. Beautiful stretch pass from Noah Juleson. Garland walks in on a bit of a break and puts it by the blocker of Darcy Kemper, tying the game up 1-1. One -one. Respect to Noah Juleson. He's completely rejuvenated himself, and he's been one of the better Canucks defensemen down this stretch, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when the Canucks decor is fully healthy and what decisions they make as to who starts. But regardless, it's one-to-one, -one, and that's the way that the period ends. Midway through the second period, Dakota Joshua is unable to move the puck out of the zone. And then Alex Ovechkin ends up with the puck, he throws it across, but it ends up going off of Oman and in, so he gets credited with the goal. And this was a frustrating one to give up, because what are we doing here on the breakout, man? We can't be leaving the zone before the puck is out, and we can't be so careless with it when we're flipping it out, because it turns into a fire drill, and then that happens. But anyways, the caps go up 2-1, to one, and at this point I'm like, okay boys, we have to lock in. We need someone, we need a difference maker. Nils Hoaglander might have the biggest hog in the NHL. Elias Pettersson drops it to him and he does the rest, makes two moves there, gets in on goal, freezes Darcy Kemper and then goes backhand, top of the net, ties the game up 2-2. Two two. Say it with me here, man. Give this guy some power play time. He deserves it, especially over guys like Mikheyev, Joshua, Lafferty, and Pew Suter even, who have all gotten power play time. This guy has 16 goals on the year. All of them have been 5-on-5. Five five. What more does he have to do? Anyways, man, he's been popping off. I love the guy. There was no score in that third period. There was some back-and-forth stuff. But we got to go straight to overtime because that's when the real stuff started to go down. First of all, can everyone just clap for Thatcher Demko? <laughs> clap. <laughs> Give him another round, boys. Give him a whole standing ovation. I don't even care because this guy absolutely saved us. Time in and time out in this game and in this overtime, he absolutely dialed it in. Quinn Hughes tries to recreate his play from yesterday where he loses his man and then they go in on a breakaway. McMichael gets stopped by Thatcher Demko and then McMichael once again works on Suter and breaks in but Demko is there to stop him with his shoulder. And then again man, Sandine with a play here, he has a whole net to shoot at but Demko sliding across absolutely robs him and keeps the Canucks in the game. And then when everyone thought it was over, when everyone thought this game was going to yet another shootout, which means a guaranteed Capitals win, the Canucks are there to answer. It's JT Miller on the receiving end of a Connor McMichael beauty feed. He snaps it by Kemper to give the Vancouver Canucks a victory, and they come away with the two points. McMichael, thank you for your service and contributions to help the Vancouver Canucks on their quest to the Cup. It is much appreciated. Everyone salute him in the comment section below. But man, the Vancouver Canucks, I don't know if we deserve to win that one. We didn't play that well, but I'll take it two points nonetheless. We should have beaten the Red Wings, so I guess it balances it out. And now we go over to Chicago, which should be a victory, but we'll see what happens. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And yeah, man, peace out.
and take care.